I need some love when I never need some love before. I want a girlfriend now. So that's why I be my girlfriend. Someone be my girlfriend. What's up guys? Yes, it's me Jamie and welcome to another Jamie's Happy. Now this is just a little time to make you guys feel happy. So I'm new to YouTube, so I'll be kind of checking it out. And what I've seen is this thing called My First Time. You guys all think it's going to be do sex, it's not do sex. It can be anything you want, it's just my first time. My first memory. I had this memory as a kid when walking with my dad and there was like a pink wall on our left hand side and he was holding my hand. And we were walking through, and he bumped into a lady and said sorry to her. I think that's my first memory. It's kind of weird, right? My first word. I don't know, I'll tell you who I'm going to find out my first word. Let's call my mum. Who knows my first word? Mama? Dada? Mum is probably sweetie, I have no idea. Let's find out. Hello, Roy. Hello, Mama, how you doing? Mama, just really quick, I'm going to phone you back in a bit. I just want to know, what, is, what was my first word? Apparently my first word was mama. I think that's everyone's first word. Actually my first word was Pluto. I'd be a, like a project. I'd be like a genius. I'm going to tell everyone my first word was Pluto. So my first word was Pluto. Now my first present I remember actually. I do weirdly remember this. It was probably my third birthday. Well, it was one of those bounce things that you know you hold the ears and you put it between legs and you bounce them. That was my uh, first present that I remember. Quite sweet, right? So my first best friend, apart from my brother, my brother was my first best friend, apart from him, probably a guy called Joshua Connick. Josh Connick, if you're out there, you're my first best friend. My first CD, can we call it a CD or a tape? I'm going to call it a tape. My first tape was Spice Girls. Obsessed. To become one, I need some love when I never need some love before. So that was my first um, tape. Second one was Boyzone. How camp was I as a kid? My first mixtape I made was for a girl called Daisy or Noble, who I'll get to later. But anyway, first person I fancied was someone called uh, Tintin, 100%. Katrina McDonald, how weird is that? She's going to probably watch this, but that's the first person I ever fancied. Quite all could be saying this. <laughs> my first proper kiss, my first like snog, I suppose, was uh, Natasha Percy on a boat in Turkey. I think I was her first kiss as well. And then my mum came up and started screaming at us because I was 11 years old and they all thought we were having sex on the boat. We weren't. We were 11. What was going on? Of course we weren't having sex. My first concert I went to was Tea in the Park up in Scotland. I watched Oasis and we went into like a, a mosh pit. Um, and I was dancing around, must have been about 12 years old. That was awesome actually. I loved that. My first concert ever. The big one. My first girlfriend. Now my first girlfriend was Hermione Russell. I remember being so surprised she asked me out that I fell off my friend's bed, Charlie Kinsey's bed, and broke his guitar. <laughs> I want a girlfriend now. You guys want to be my girlfriend? Someone be my girlfriend. Now the worst, and we've all had this. If you haven't had this, then you haven't lived. Your first heartbreak. Now my first heartbreak was also the first person I made my mixtape for when it was Daisy Don Noble. That was my first heartbreak. I thought I was going to marry her. It took me a year. A year to get over that. And then I remember what happens, this is advice for you guys like this. Any of you ever had a heartbreak out there? It's the worst thing in the entire world. You can't put your shoes on, you can't do anything. But all you have to remember is it always gets better. And there's always someone else out there for you. And if they don't want you, then they're not worth your time anyway. Remember that, it's important. Uh, my first time, but I had no idea what I was doing. I don't think she had any idea what I was doing. And it was just in some bush. I mean it was not romantic at all. Make it more romantic then, make it a big thing. Your first time. I think my first biggest decision was choosing to do Made in Chelsea. I was at Leeds University, I'd just finished. Didn't know what to do and Made in Chelsea was there and they were offering it to me and I was thinking, well, do I want to do this? My mum wanted me to go in the city. But what is important you have to do is you actually do what you want to do. So for all of you out there who are worried about the future, worried about life, you follow exactly what your heart tells you to do. And that probably leads on to my first regret. Honestly, I don't have a regret at the moment. You know, life isn't about having regrets because you make that decision. That's why you follow your heart. So at the moment, I have no regrets and I hope I never do. I hope you guys never do either. That was my first little like, YouTube video for you guys about my first time. I'm going to do loads more of these. I hope you like it. If you do like it, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't like it, comment below and give it a thumbs down or whatever you want. Subscribe as well. Make sure you subscribe. Um, share it. Check out other people who've done it. Um, send me all my love. Peace.